Let's take a look at Lightroom's brand new color grading tool. What's up? This is John from Drama for Photography. So Adobe dropped a bunch of updates a couple of days ago, and one of the cool features that we're gonna focus on today is color grading inside of Lightroom. Color grading takes the place of split toning and basically gives you way more control than split toning ever could. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're gonna take a look at this in Lightroom Classic, but keep in mind you can do this in both Lightroom CC on mobile and on desktop. If you're not familiar with the difference between Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC, definitely make sure to check out my video right up above. So I'm here in Lightroom Classic. Here's a wedding I did a little while ago. And when you go into develop, what you'll notice differently now is if we scroll down, instead of split toning, we now have color grading. So let's open that up. And this is our main view of color grading. Basically, it reminds me of doing color grading in a video program like Final Cut or something. We have our midtones, our shadows, and our highlights. We can change the colors of those each independently. We can change the luminance. We also have a before and after. And then down at the bottom, we have blending and balance. If you want to as well, you also can just look at the shadows by themselves, the midtones by themselves, and also the highlights or affect everything globally. So generally when I edit, I apply my own preset, which if y'all don't know about the Natural Fields preset, definitely make sure to check it out in the description below. Once I've done my preset, I'll go ahead and go in and make other adjustments, like my exposure and my shadows and things, maybe the white balance a little bit as well, until I get the photo to a place where I like it. At this point would be a great place to go ahead and start doing the color grading as well, to get a specific look on our photo, or even deal with the white balance a little differently than we normally would. So if I wasn't happy with the skin tones, I could deal with my mid-tones here. And you see that's mainly going to affect the skin tones. Again, luminance is how bright it is or not. So you can basically make it shine a little bit more. And then I can blend how much of that change I want on my photos. Same thing with the shadows. If I wanted to give it more of a blue look, we can drag down here towards blue. Change our blending overall. Here's our before and after of that. Then we can change the highlights as well. And also keep in mind, you don't even have to add color. You can just use this to give your photos like a faded look if you want to. But you see, it makes pretty big changes. I'll put this back in the middle. And then again, we have our global changes, which will change everything. So here's our side-by-side -side of this photo, and you can see the color grading can be used in a way to just give a little bit of a change to your photos rather than something hugely different. So let's go ahead and take a look at another example. So here's another photo here. I'm gonna go ahead and develop it. I'll do my general adjustments. And now that I have it in a place that I like, let's go ahead and do some color grading. So let's cool down the highlights a little bit and maybe warm up the mid-tones. Just a, just a tad. Change our blending. And there we go. Here's our before and after. And that's pretty much using the color grading. It's very straightforward, very easy to use. Again, I tend to not use split toning, but I think this feature is super, super awesome. Make sure to check it out and make sure to upgrade your version of Lightroom if you don't have this feature yet. So that was a quick look at color grading inside of Lightroom. Is this a feature you're excited about? Something that you think you're gonna use a lot? 
or do you miss the old school split toning? Let me know in the comments below how you feel. And again, don't forget to hit that like if you like this information and stick around and subscribe for more Lightroom tutorials as well as photography and creative entrepreneurship information. And I'll catch y'all next time. All right, peace. Thank you.